this one, right? Before I moved out to Tucson, I had this inkling that it was going to be a place of community for me. And that was before I even looked at my astro cartography or had any real idea of what living in Tucson would be like. And in my third eye, I had this visual of a community of like-minded people that enjoyed wellness, spirituality, supporting one another, and coming over in my backyard and I would cook for everyone and we would bond over really good food and really good conversations. And I, I have a really good feeling about this. I am so happy to be here. Viejo to meet up an Instagram friend. Uh, she reached out to me via DM and might as well make some new friends. I've actually met quite a handful of people already via Instagram, TikTok, um, and it's been really fun. I'm excited to be out of the house. It's Tuesday right now and it's so rainy. What I love about being a nomad is yes, discovering new places, but I especially love meeting locals and making new friends. Making friends as an adult is different for everyone. I love going off of my human design, being a generator, and waiting for the invitation or living according to the respond strategy. Recently, the people I've met have been because of social media. I receive a DM, and then I take it to my sacral and feel the response. It's been fun meeting over coffee or discovering new neighborhoods and beautiful places like this hotel that Sammy brought me to. Josh is dropping me off to meet with Isabel for lunch, but we made a quick stop to Romero's where I take my ceramics class. And also, I am obsessed with these shoes. Ah, there she is. Uh, S I S I L I A. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that looks good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, really does. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had nudies? Mm -mm. It's like a, a kind of just like this, like you get a bowl like and this kind of thing. And yeah, they have lots of um, pasta options and gelato, so it's like this, but it's closer to the U of A. Good morning. This is my view from my bed. I just put these curtains in not too long ago, and then we have these sun blocking screen protectors out there. I also need to get some curtains out here, but I'm, my morning is starting out really strange. By strange, I mean first I woke up with an earache on my left ear and a really bad headache. And then I woke up with pimples, like, where is it? Right here and then right here. And I'm not sure what's happening, so I'm gonna go light up some incense and my sweet grass and have a very slow morning. I'm ready for this dirty chai from Cartel. And then we're gonna go grab some bagels from Bubby's Bagels. Okay, yeah, it's like a sliced uh, Monterey Jack. So this is the garlic with Calabrian chili with and red onions. And then this is the jalapeno cheddar and this is the open locks. It's funny that she knows you. Okay. 
I'm trying to be incognito right now because there's parents next to me waiting to pick up their kids. I'm picking up my nephew. Thought I'd show you my drinks that I bring with me. Anyone else have like three, four drinks with you? So at the moment, I'm in the car right now. I have the essential amino acid drink from Keon. It's a powder and I just put water. And then I have also from Keon, this is their uh, protein powder and vanilla, but I put matcha because I'm not a sweets kind of person. So this helps with the taste. Otherwise it's so, so, so sweet. And then here is good old H2O water. Let me know if you guys are the same and have two to three drinks or four. Let me know in the comments if you are one of those and what those drinks are. I would love to know. Oh.